six right now and I found everyone working in their exhibition. I can't lie that all the teachers in the school have been helping in this exhibition but I would especially like to thank my teacher Ms. Julia. The PYPX exhibition began when I, when I joined Echoes. The third week of Echoes was really fun because my cousins and friends from your seven talked to me about the exhibition and told me how it's gonna go. The thing I'm taking away from this experience is courage open-mindedness and kindness because like it helped me do more of all that I, mean, like, I was not as open-minded as I am now and you know before I used to be scared of almost everything like presenting to your parents like I'm about to do now so like that's how courageous yes, that's how that's how courageous I'd especially like to thank Miss Lydia for the, in this exhibition because she helped us at all times even if we annoyed her and she was very uh, delicate, she was considerate about us. She didn't mind if she shouted at us because she knew that she had told us this before and, so she, and she was shouting at us for our own good. The biggest highlight of my PYP journey was I learned the new things. The new things are some, fun, I learned fun facts about globalism. And one more thing, I didn't know anything like global, anything named as globalization. But the first time I knew it, I felt so nice knowing it. Because I've heard it the first time the world, and I learned so many, so many things in it. Thank you. The most challenging in task for me to do is is to just read out for my for my just just read out my uh, exhibition tax and without looking and tell the tell the questions i would like to thank miss lydia because she helped us do our exhibition first of all thank you very much uh, for giving us this opportunity as parents to participate in this whole process i was overwhelmed to see <laughs> what the children got engaged in today. During the preparatory meetings, we were told that um, there's going to be a lot happening and they need a lot of support from parents. But each time my child came home, I would ask him, what support do you need today? They, they, he would be like, no, it's all, we are working on it. It's all being covered at school. So I didn't expect what I saw today. I was so surprised to see how they are talking, how the confidence they, um, the confidence that they were demonstrating throughout the performances, the way they were speaking. The children really, really were so engaged in this whole process. And as parents, we really appreciate all the effort that the school has put in the work that the teachers have done with them. We really appreciate this whole process. Thank you very much. My name is Auxilia Sariri. Um, I'm a new parent here at Acons International School. We recently come from Zimbabwe. My child was in um, MYP, uh, year six. 
Um, I must say I was very impressed with the, the level of knowledge that she's gained um, during this year. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the, the curriculum, the international, the IB curriculum, is that it doesn't teach um, a child to maybe to to pass the exam, but it's, it's grooming future leaders. Mm. It makes um, a child an all-rounder, um, good in leadership skills, communication. Uh, if you uh, looking at the presentations that they were doing, this okay, is uh, okay. like. Um, teaching them to be future leaders and uh, the level of confidence that they had, the presentation skills that uh, were being shown here, um, I was quite amazed with uh, that level of knowledge. I would like to thank um, ACONS for such good work and um, IB curriculum is the way to go. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Fazia Amin Babani's dad and uh, first though cheers and uh, I, I don't have words, I don't have expressions to express, it's, it's wonderful, you know, the teachers, the mentors, the students have done a great job. I think so, uh, in the beginning Fazia was a bit nervous and even uh, excited for this exhibition, uh, but now when I look at the exhibition she's more comforted and she has learned a lot. She's done a lot of research. She would come home, sit on the net, uh, ask questions, uh, inquire about different topics uh, related to this exhibition. Uh, and I think so, uh, she has improved a lot in her understanding and her knowledge. Uh, cheers to the team and I think so it was a great work, wonderful work. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Lorraine Muganzi. I'm a teacher of French and Kiswahili at Econ International School. Um, during this year's um, year six exhibition, I was honored with the role of being a mentor and I was guiding the students through how globalization um, sort of relates to international languages. The whole journey with the students has been life giving, it has stretched us in ways that uh, we did not expect. We went through a series of research, a series of uh, you know working together, um, uh, talking to the students so that they could um, own whatever um, was expected of them. I am really glad that what they presented was, uh, has paid off, and uh, it's a journey. And from now on, I think we are on the right track. We have set the pace, and more is yet to come. Thank you so much and congratulations to the year 6 class. Hello, my name is Neil Kelly. I'm the design and technology teacher for MIP and a mentor to year 6. Um, the entire journey of the exhibition uh, was really to open up the children's minds uh, to globalization, um, to show the impact of technology and how it affects uh, the entire world. And the journey that the children have been through is, has been transformative in every sense of the word. Um, they have learned from, from everything from culture, language, um, all the way to technology and how it affects globalization and how, it, uh, how we're all interconnected. So I'm very happy that they have successfully completed this exhibition and I congratulate them and wish them.